Hi team, this is Mike Rivera. In this video, we're gonna share with you how to create your own landing page. What's a landing page? A landing page is a website that you're gonna use to pique someone's interest that you meet online. And what they're gonna do is once they watch a short video, if they like what they see, they're gonna fill out their name, email, and phone number, which then you're gonna be able to follow up with that individual to see whether or not they're a good fit for your opportunity. So let's get started. I'm gonna share with you um, in this video a free way to create a landing page. Not necessarily the best landing page um, application out there, but definitely a very easy one to create and one that's free so it doesn't cost you really any money to do so other than um, maybe registering a domain that uh, you will forward and we'll talk about that at the end of the video if you don't know how to forward domains or create a domain with GoDaddy I'm going to teach you how to do that in this video as well so let's get started first you want to go to weebly.com www.weebly.com once you're there you're going to sign up for free enter in your name your email and create a password. Once you're here, you can select the free plan and you wanna create a site. Next, you're gonna select a template. Um, I'm gonna recommend this particular template because I've used this and I think it's a really easy uh, template to work with. So right here this template you see clothes in the back this is a template that you want to use select choose from here you're going to create a subdomain now you can register a domain automatically uh, from Weebly and pay directly onto Weebly that's definitely your option uh, if you don't if you like uh, GoDaddy then you can register that domain with GoDaddy. It's your choice. So you can also use one that you already own. So these are the choices that you have. I'm just gonna go create a subdomain right here and I'm gonna call this particular subdomain. I already have an idea, so I'm gonna call it um, vacation landing page. I'm gonna hit continue. And I'm going to go ahead and build my site. So the first thing I'm going to do is select pages. And it's like clearing out your board. So I'm going to cl click the about and I'm going to hit delete. Now I recommend you're either taking notes at this point or you're doing this simultaneously by watching this video and following with me on another computer. Uh, so either way, it's up to you but definitely you, you can't watch this and then just do it, take notes or follow along with me. Same thing with contact, we're going to delete that page. And on the home page, we are just gonna select hide page uh, in navigation. Uh, and then we're gonna select here, um, short header. And we can hit save and exit, save and edit so this is what it looks like at this point um, now what's nice is you can change this header so we can select edit image and there are images of different images that we can select from here I know of one that I want to use so we're going to select here it is all right great then you're gonna select uh, select. You can also upload your own image if you want. I'm going to hit select. Now you're going to go up here to the right and select save. Save to all pages. And that looks good. Now on your logo, you're going to go ahead and click off so you don't see that. And next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a YouTube video. So we're going to go down here, select YouTube video, and drag it. So you're gonna click it with your left mouse and drag it across. And once that's here, all you need to do now is enter in the URL of the YouTube video that you wanna put as 
uh, your peak. Now, I'm going to give you a list, you know, right here below the tutorial before you clicked it. Um, you saw on the bottom of the page the list of the links to the YouTube videos that you want as your peak video. So once you've selected that video link, uh, I'm just going to grab it off of my document here. I'm going to put the vacation presentation. Actually, I'm going to use the career video. So I'm going to highlight that video link and copy it. Then I'm going to go back into my Weebly. And I'm going to paste it. And that's it. So now I've got the video that I want as my peak video. You can see, even see that and play it in there. So there's the per that's the my peak video that I want. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the contact box. So right here is contact form. We're gonna go left click it, drag it down right below here. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna enter in this information. So we can select here um, request more info. Right? You can put whatever you want. You know, contact me, request more info, whatever you want to say. Next, we're going to um, remove this comment box. So we are going to just hit delete on that X and delete again. What we're going to do is we're going to add a phone number because I want their phone number in case I want to call them. So I'm going to select the phone number to the left here, left, and drag it down right below email. Right now, I'm going to request their phone number. Now, you want to select form options, and here you want to name your contact form. This is the email that you're going to receive. So, you wanted to say uh, landing page contact form. So, that's the subject that you're going to receive from people who uh, submit their information. You're going to receive this in your email. Again, here's your email. Where do you want this to go? That's going to go directly to the email that you had subscribed to, or you can change it. Uh, you can uh, change what the submit button says, how it looks, uh, things of that nature. But I really, at this point, um, there's really nothing that it says thank you if your information has been submitted. I'd leave everything alone and then click, click on save. So now you've got yourself a landing page with a contact form attached to it. And uh, the last thing I'm going to do, let me save. The last thing I'm going to do is just uh, add a little title. So I'm going to um, go to title, drag that on top of my video. And if it doesn't work, you know, do it again, but it should work. There we go. And just type in here, uh, become a travel agent. Right, and you can center that to the middle, spell agent correctly, uh, and that's it. And then what you do is, guys, you're done. You've just created yourself uh, your first landing page for free. Click on publish. Uh, use the subdomain again. It's going to ask you if that's what you want to do, or if you want to register a new domain. Click on continue. For those of you who uh, struggle with uh, internet, and this may not be a bad option for you to register a new domain. But I really recommend GoDaddy, so um, that's up to you. Hit continue, and it's going to say select website. Uh, we can skip this. Just say don't ask me again and skip it. And that's going to verify that you're human, EE, -E, and publish my site. Now, this is your uh, URL to your landing page now. All right. So if we click it, you can see there we go. We have our own landing page. When your uh, end users go here, they watch the video. Are you looking for that perfect hand to pet your and what they do now is they say, oh, wow, that was really interesting. I would like to learn more. They're going to enter their information, John Doe. John Doe is going to enter his email, right, and his phone number. And he's going to submit. It says, thank you, your information has been submitted. So John Doe has now requested information from you. 
And at this point, what you're going to do is two things. You can get John's information from two different locations. The first is directly off of your Weebly account, right? If you go when you log into Weebly, uh, you're going to see this. When you first log on to Weebly, and I want to take you actually there. Let us exit out of Weebly. This is what it's going to look like. So when you first log into Weebly, you're going to see this. It says My Site. And you see Paycation, Landing Page, right? And you can go ahead and click More and view the form entries. And you can see there's John Doe, there's John's information, and John's phone number. So guys, you just collected John's information, and now you can contact John. That's one way. The second way is through your email. See, right here it says New Form Entry landing page contact form so I know that that is a new entry of someone I received from my landing page I select that and now it says here there's John Doe John's email and John's phone number so guys this is a, a simple way for you to start getting those leads from the internet all right and um, now you have to drive traffic to your website right and that's cr that's crucial obviously to your business and those are other tutorials like posting on Craigslist, social media marketing, things of that nature. But now you've just created your first landing page. Now next what I want to do is share with you an alternative option where you, they're not just requesting more information, but you're actually going to send them to follow up and watch another video. All right, so this is how we're going to do that. This is an option. I like this option, but it's up to you. You can play around with this. First, you want to create another page. So go to Pages, click on Add, Standard Page, and I'm going to name it Follow Up. I want to hide my page, keep a short header again, and click on Save and Edit. From here, I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to go to YouTube. I'm going to drag a YouTube video across. And I want to watch, I want them to follow up with a video. So that failure video is I'm going to, I want them to, since I put the career video, I'm going to use the follow up of that career video and copy that. I can also have used the uh, vacation opportunity presentation or even the corporate video. It's really up to you. So once you've decided which one you want to use, go back, click on your video paste your URL of your YouTube video that you want and we have our follow-up video here the next thing we want to do is just put in some information all right I'm gonna keep this real simple they've already submitted their initial info so I'm just gonna put in a title right below and I'm going to just say If you're interested in getting started right now, give me a call or send me an email. So then I'm going to enter in my name enter that in and I'm done so um, guys at this point in time you're going to hit publish right we want to make sure that we save that and that's published that's great what we're going to do now is uh, change our link on the submit. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over to pages, go back to home, save and edit. And from here, when we click on the form, we're going to change the form options. We want to change the confirmation link and we want to send them to our page that we just created. So we're going to select on standard page and follow up, hit save. 
hit save again and you're done we're going to publish this and i want to show you how it works now so here we are they, you send them to your landing page initially they want to become a travel agent they watch the video now it's jane doe who watches the video and we're going to put jane's going to put her email and jane's phone number and submit but this time instead of getting a response it's going to send them to this follow-up video where they're going to watch this video again And if they like what they see, it says, if you're interested in getting started right now, give me a call or send me an email. So I put my phone number or my email address, my name, and that's it. If they're real excited about this opportunity. They're going to call or email you right away. If they're not, it's okay because don't forget, you already have Jane's information right here. See that in your email? New form entry landing page contact form. So this is a great, great uh, way of doing, um, saving time. If you don't want to you know, call them after the initial contact, you want them to watch a second video, this is a great way to make that happen. So guys, um, hopefully you learned a lot here with this uh, tutorial. Team, if you already know how to forward domains to your Weebly site, uh, that's great. If you don't, and you want to create a domain and GoDaddy and forward that domain to your Weebly landing page that you just created, watch the video that says creating a domain and forwarding. All right, guys, this is Mike Rivera. Hope this tutorial really helped you, and I look forward to seeing you succeed in your vacation business. Have a great day.